let's make sure we're coming on live. There we are. There we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today, what is today? Today is March 12th, Sunday, 2023. And we do live in interesting times. Today's live stream is going to be uh, investing and personal finance. Let's talk about some economics, which is linked up with politics, geopolitics, and everything else right now, right? And everything else right now. And uh, we've done a lot of these. Uh, we do have a personal finance playlist on uh, SensorTube. Um, put a whole bunch of videos. We constantly do put out videos regarding investing in personal finance and discuss certain topics. And uh, it should be interesting. Shino, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, greetings from Mexico. Salutations. Buenas, buenas, di buenas dias. <laughs> good day. Cheryl, how are you doing? Happy Sunday, Chicho. Hope all is well. Doing good, doing good. Cheryl, I cooked up, uh, uh, well, I made something that I've never made before, sort of a dish, uh, Persian, Armenian dish that we make. It's like this. And, uh, and hello, Naz. How are you doing? Naz Gul Christ. Naz Gul Christ. Um, it's flour. You heat up flour. Okay, heat it up, heat it up. Just flour, white flour gentle you gotta mix it so it doesn't burn heat up flour and then you add butter okay <laughs> and mix that in and then you add sweetener some type uh i added molasses but the molasses i had oh my god are you doing sunday was uh was very profitable 500 lunches <laughs> oh, man. People are hungry <laughs> and um, who knows how many drinks right and uh i added molasses but i i you sh I should have added uh, date molasses or uh, uh, grape molasses, right? Because it's sweeter. So this had a little bitter taste to it. It's a molasses that you add to muffins that I had. So I had also added honey and maple syrup to it. And you can make it hard or soft. I made it sort of in between. And it's, it's like, let's see if it'll focus. It, it, it's called halva. But it's not halva that you buy in stores like with, um, what do you call it, with sesame oil, right? It, it almost, but it definitely doesn't have a fudge taste to it. It's, it's my first time making it. Family has made it for decades upon decades since I was little, we used to eat it. Uh, so was this a success? It was a good experiment. Now I have a feel for it and I can manipulate it. Uh, but I got a lot of this to eat. <laughs> and you put it on a flat uh, plate and it dries and becomes hard, right? Or harder. Yeah, date will work. Yeah, uh, sorry, Elder God. Lots of butter. <laughs> you might be able to make it with coconut oil. I haven't tried. It's my first time making it, so I had to, had to get a feel for it, right? Now that I have a feel for it, um, I can mix in, switch up ingredients to test it out, right? Uh, interesting. Interesting. Cheryl, plant butter would work, would work with something like that. Uh, possibly. Uh, the only other sort of oil that I've worked with really like even comes close to butter is coconut oil but olive oil I don't know if olive oil would work I don't know uh Cheryl I'm trying a uh, nougat recipe later if it fails I may try this is the yeah it's it's inter and you you put it on low medium low flour because it burns it burns really fast it gets brown and the smell of the flour roasting, I guess, is the taste, the smell you want, right? And then you do that, and when it's hot, um, you add the butter. The butter should melt fairly rapidly within it. You keep on mixing it, constantly mixing it, right, so it doesn't burn at the bottom. And then you add your sweetener. So you need molasses because molasses gets hot. It's got high viscosity, right? Um, I added honey because the molasses was bitter. So, uh, so 
the the order is uh, heat up the flour, add the butter, melt the butter in the flour, and make sure you use some kind of fork so you're breaking it up so it's not in chunks, and then add the sweetener. Okay, you also add water as needed, right? Because it can be really if it's really hard. It, that's sort of what you want as well when you spread it on a plate. Um, but you do have to add some water. The more water you add, uh, the more obviously less hard it becomes. And there is a, um, it's like a um, breakfast dish that we make. If I added more water, this would be more liquidy and you can eat that with bread and stuff like this. So that's a, it's called ha uh, hasuda uh, in Armenian, I think. Evil to hope. Hope you're doing well. And gang, while we wait for a notification to go out, let me do my little intro. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. If you don't know what this work is about, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. We also have a Substack page and a Subscribe Star page. Uh, you can follow the work there. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, and on Twitch, where we are live streaming, panic how are you doing any news on assange that i miss man uh, torturing uh, the greatest one of the most important journalists in human history with clowns in our societies still believing propaganda from corporate media and centralized power it's and people forgetting about Assange, how important uh, of a role he played in bringing transparency to our society, uh, of the shenanigans, of the crimes that centralized power has committed, the silence of the masses is deafening beyond belief, is beyond belief. It's to me, it has been vomit inducing, really. So, the news on Assange is he hasn't been photographed for a very long time because they're trying to wipe him from collective memory, right? Because when you, when people can get journalists, uh, can get a recent image of someone, that's news, right? But they've been prevented from doing that. So they've taken Assange out of the news cycle. Just fucking imagine. All these propaganda, so-called Western journalism, right? May it be BBC, Guardian, Telegraph, CNN, Fox, CBC. I don't give a rat's ass. All of Western corporate propaganda, media, is silent because they're not independent journalists. They're not uh, working for betterment of society or to bring transparency or to ask the most important questions. They're stenographers of centralized power, right? Absolutely vomit inducing, right? So the latest news on Assange is he's being taken out of the news cycle and we're into the 12th year of centralized power with the help of the media torturing one of the most important journalists in human history. Yeah. Panic, yeah. It seems uh, like that is the classic MO, just trying to make people forget and sad thing. Uh, and the sad thing is that it works more often than not. Yeah. Not for us. Not for us. For NPCs, yeah. They've, they gave up their humanity a long time ago. The NPCs gave up their humanity a long time ago. Are you still human? Do you understand what is a, what is a game at play? You should be proud. 
Nagushka, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. And gang, those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, Substack, Twitch, and the handful of people that are supporting this work on SensorTube, and all the support we're getting through other means, gang, thank you very much for the support. Uh, it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. And if you want to know, uh, if you want to participate in our community, um, share information, you're definitely welcome to join us on Gilded. Nagushka, doing great. You doing doing good. I'm following news like mad. I was up at three o'clock, no, earlier, two thirty this morning, uh, reading news of uh, what's happening in the world, just because. Uh, it is amazing times to be alive. It is amazing times to be alive. Right. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Elder God, last picture I remember seeing of, uh, of Julian is June 2019. Yeah. Fist in the air, right? From what I understand, that was probably one of the last pictures looking as a recent recap from Caitlin Johnson said, looking defiantly, a video, looking defiantly into the camera. With his fist in the air that is a real human being that is a real breathing thinking caring human being okay the npcs cheryl are i feel less than human today because daylight savings time started the stupidest thing ever 100 percent agree 100 percent agree matt ps thank you very much for the tier one sub subscribe for 22 months currently on a 12 month streak Woo salutations brother salutations and gang we do announce these live streams 30 minutes 45 minutes before we go live on twitter minds vk gap parlor um getter and a bunch of other platforms links are on our social media platforms someone's alarm is going we had one of the i think it was the same car going off yesterday for a while nagushka it certainly is a unique time in all of history to be here when 2020 happened i knew there was no turning back and it made uh, me an unwilling warrior yeah we, this is the role we've been thrown in are you human enough to take on that position or are you an npc going about your business as if your programming is limited to what centralized power wants it to be right that that is the challenge that we have been put in incredible incredible moments incredible moment right are you on the right side of history right incredible moments incredible moments right and gang we will be uploading the audio if everything works out well on this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash she chose a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play and whatnot aside from that i'm going to take these guys down and gang 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 mods 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 thank you for being here Thank you for taking care of business. Thank you for having our backs. Fun times, fun times. Let's take these guys down. Let's talk about what's going on. Because wow, wow, wow. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Hey, all. Hope everyone is doing well. Been a little while. Glad to be back here again. Glad to have you, Lonely Piggy. Hope you're doing well. Hell of God, I'm strong enough to let the steel of justice loose on the traitors. And they're... In the Western world, we have traitors all over the place, all over the place. Democracy Republic, first time chat. Salute, salute. I haven't been uh, drinking any alcohol uh, during our live streams. I've had a couple of random drinks here and there, uh, but not much. As I said before, I was slowing down on the drinking. So we're doing tea and water. Chicho the man. Good evening, sir. Good evening. See death. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. 
hope you're doing well. And as I said, we're doing uh, investing personal finance, um, very much linked up to uh, geopolitics, right? Very much linked up to what has taken place in the last three years, right? And just a heads up um, for those of you that might be watching this uh, stream after the fact on sensor two. If we get into any discussions that are not permitted on SensorTube, the live stream will be cut short and the full live stream will be available on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. We'll see if we can upload everything uh, to SensorTube. I'm not 100% sure because if we're really going to talk about investing in personal finance, there's some a direction we need to go or we can go, which is not permitted to be discussed on SensorTube. The technocrats will not allow you to hear certain facts, certain truths, uh, certain enlightening pieces of information that may protect you from their tyranny. So uh, just a heads up, okay? I'll, I'll try to uh, have it a way where we can have the whole live stream on, uh, on SensorTube, right? But we'll see, but we'll see. As far as uh, economics goes, gang, um, We've had a bank banking run in the last few days in the United States. We've had banking runs in Africa, in Europe, in Middle East. Uh, it's hitting the United States now. And uh, it's playing out in a certain way. Okay, A lot of people are comparing it to 2008, but it has the potential to be a couple of orders of magnitude more than 2008 or it could be suppressed and the next one will be that big okay panic i really i'm i'm really hoping the new streaming platform that train wreck created train train wrecks created is going to take off twitch is uh, restricting speech more and more yeah we haven't had any problems with twitch yet uh with restricting speech i mean the r word we can't use but that was for one understand that was that was uh, a banned word from the get-go and i'm okay with using low iq or delayed instead of the r word but if they do uh censor us uh panic we will definitely uh, be moving on to other platforms and the next platform i think we'll be moving on to or a platform that we're going to be uh, introducing as a live stream is going to be rumble um uh, right so at some point i'm going to get into streaming uh, simultaneously on rumble and twitter uh, and twitch at the same time um, i might try to throw an odyssey in there as well but i think uh, we're just going to go with rumble and do it in piecemeal go 420 style right but we see but we see we know rumble is free speech they haven't bent yet and I don't think they will. Nagushka, speaking of alternative platforms, I wonder how uh, censored Kick is. The UI is almost identical to Twitch, is it? Yeah, I haven't gone on. Uh, yeah, Kick, Kick is uh, Kick is called. Uh, it has no restrictions as it stands. Yeah, I, I know Rumble is a free speech platform. No restrictions in terms of politics, so society, social. You can talk about whatever you want. Uh, that's what I care about, all right? Uh, and that's what we should care about. So kick, uh, I might look into it as well. I'm not 100% sure. I did, someone mentioned in the last stream, uh, and I did take a look at the page, the website, uh, as, as far as I've gone. Great to know, Panic. They didn't even moderate racial slurs yet. Uh, good words are words uh words like to me censoring words is completely insane like it's part of the language but you censor it from society then shouldn't you remove it from all dictionaries and roll it back to a level where you say this word has no meaning anymore. Uh, but I don't know how that works. Like if you start removing words from language, 
how does that really work? I, I, I don't understand, right? I totally agree. Censoring words is just giving them more power. Indeed. Indeed. Are we going to reach a point where they start censoring the most ridiculous words? And even right now, they've censored the most ridiculous words. You can't say this. You can't say what? Are you crazy? Right? And that's part of, again, the control mechanism that has been put into place. Right? Control mechanism where they only want people to go in a certain direction and never deviate from the narrow path they've been put on right as a human being right i mean that's one thing that has come out of gaming which is absolutely brilliant right if you've been a gamer for a long time you know that initially when games came to be they they had a certain path they, the character needed to go <laughs> I mean, this is it, right? And then what we what we got, and I can't remember which game was the first game to have an open world, right? Uh, Herzog in uh, from Sega Genesis in the late nineteen, uh, maybe it was early nineteen uh, nineties. That was a map where you could go anywhere on the map. It was sort of open world, a very limited open world, right? But open world games really just exploded the gaming industry right that's what we want we want to be able to explore our world but technocrats and centralized power does not want people to explore the meaning of existence the meaning of life the meaning their meaning of what life is your meaning of what you think your life should be right insanity insanity right uh panic i remember school getting in trouble for a math test question about calories people said they felt offended uh, those are not people those are npcs they're they're crazy i was talking with uh with a student of mine just on this note <laughs> i was talking with a student of mine and uh, i was trying to uh, because we're getting into harder, harder type of math problems. And one way you teach mathematics and one way you should, you should teach anything really, including living life, right? Is you start off by learning how to do basic operations, operations that take one step and then two step and then three step, and then take two concepts, put it together to solve a problem and then take multiple concepts multiple steps to put it together and solve a problem right so one of the things you need to do as an educator as a math educator anyway that's what this is one of the things i do i teach modules segments techniques for different things right and while i'm doing that i'm trying to incorporate different processes together right so with this student we've gotten to a place where we're we're doing multi-step multi multiple modules coming together and the trick is to make sure they're able to focus long enough democracy thank you very much for the follow that they can stay focused long enough to complete the problem right to complete the problem and it takes time it takes it, it like anything right it's like it's like doing tai chi uh the, any type of martial arts you have like for example tai chi i think you have the 24 move tai chi meditation thing and then you can go to uh 36 and 48 and they have multiple techniques right like good movies and when they when you show good movies with amazing fight scenes the simpler movies or early directors they do one or two punches cut bum 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 the amazing movies is they have a long shot spanning shot going around where they're doing multiple multiple things in one shot right mathematics is the same way so this student was doing this thing and i'm trying to train him teach him to stay focused long enough to complete the problem and he's stumbling every now and then right so i said listen you must have heard the saying saying that it's not over until the fat lady sings <laughs> And I, and I looked at him and he's like hmm? I said have you heard this it's not over until the fat lady sings and he's like i go wait a second are you guys even allowed to use the word fat anymore stuff and he starts laughing he goes no chicho that's like fat shaming 
<laughs> and I just started laughing, and he started laughing, and I just, you know what, go, go talk to your mom and ask her what that means, right? And I sort of took it in another direction, saying, you know what, it comes from basically, I believe, from opera, where, you know, opera, you had the fat lady coming and singing and goes, no, 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 that's fat shaming. And I couldn't stop laughing. We just couldn't. It was a great, great mass session we have. Right. So that's a long version of a story of ridiculous that they take words out of uh, society. Insane. <laughs> so is it OK to say it's not over until the skinny lady sings or are we even allowed to say lady? Right. Like. Very weird. Very weird. Enzo, how are you doing? Ultimate 4 was amazing. Mid-80s, Commodore 64. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what is calculus exactly? Explain in a very simple way. Calculus is an introduction of time, rate of change into mathematics. So we're no longer looking at static images. We're looking at functions to see what happens as time progresses, right? That's it. Wing Chun has uh, 108 movements. Nice, nice, Elder God. Do you know how to do? I learned the 24, I think it's 24, almost a 24. I, I got up to 18 and uh, the simple uh, Tai Chi movement. Uh, the simplest, Not I don't know if it's the simplest one they have, but it's the simplest one they work towards. Um, yeah, I got about three quarters of the way and then I got distracted. I didn't finish... Uh, my training <laughs> didn't finish my training uh, and again gang uh, I've been training since 1986 wow 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 nice I have a friend that's been doing it since early 1990s I think or late 1980s so uh, it's pretty fit push hands have you done push hands uh, elder god throw people left and right <laughs> Push hands is crazy. Push hands is super cool. Push hands is super cool. Fun. Economics. I'm glad we're not too going too crazy uh, with what's going on in the economic world. Uh, Cheryl, I love push hands. So cool. So cool. So cool. Enzo, Steven Seagal. <laughs> Steven Seagal at the at the time when he came out, he, he was he was rock and roll, right? Oh my God! I started my training in Hong Kong, Bruce Lee style. Bruce Lee style. See that Steven Seagal practices bullshit. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. No, I do. For, I, do, I think Steven Seagal, uh, martial arts wise, he he was at a time pretty good. I think he had one or two moves that. <laughs> always did bend the wrist do flip people the same way right how about chuck uh, and so chuck norris uh, from what i understand he's actually a good uh, he was a good martial artist seagull actually met bruce lee really elder god no way in his mind <laughs> hilarious hilarious too funny Ah, too funny to see that yeah seagull trained uh, navy seals too level up he's just uh, such a uh, jinkus i don't know what a jinkus is drunkard maybe is that what it is oh dinkus not a drinkus dinkus yeah he he sort of uh, what did they say uh one of the sayings is uh, uh they're so they're so high in themselves they don't think their shit stinks right so but i don't know him personally I don't really follow him or anything, so it is what it is. He's one of my uh, maybe five famous people who's uh, pro Russia. Yeah, is he? I heard, uh, but he was pro. He, he he liked Russia for years. He's been, which is fine. Why not? What's the problem, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. He's still making movies. I saw a clip uh, from one. He fights a guy without getting out of his chair for real. <laughs> See that? No way. Hilarious. And so smiles. What about that uh, one actor? Muscles from Muscles. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Van Damme's supposed to be a very good fighter. He's a little guy, though. I saw him 
in Vancouver when it was filming something I can't remember. Uh, so Van Damme is, uh, for one understand, he's a very, uh, he was a very good, very talented fighter, uh, but a little guy, very little guy. A lot of a lot of amazing fighters have been little little people. Little people can be seriously dangerous. <laughs> Is that like fat shaming? Little shaming. Little people shaming. Homeless robot. Last time I flew, uh, they showed the Seagull movie on the plane. <laughs> he just walked out. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Nagushka. He's uh, pretty base. Loves Japan and Russia. Awesome. Awesome. Was that his nickname? And so says... Michael J. White is the man. That guy is incredibly talented. Michael J. White. I don't know Michael J. White. Uh, uh, panic. Nagushka. Little people are indeed dangerous. Take <laughs> a job. For example, I don't know who the hot job is. <laughs> who are these people, man? <laughs> Yoda's pretty dangerous. I know that. Jean Claude Van Damme is. 5'9? No, he's not 5'9, Elder God. That's taller than me. Is he 5'9? For some reason, he seemed maybe because in the movies, I assumed he was a big guy. <laughs> when I saw him, he seemed small. <laughs> he just, I remember him being small guy, little guy. But it may be because he was bigger than life or something in the movies, right? Funny. Well, elegant. I googled and got three different heights on the three results, each getting smaller. At Walter says, <laughs> maybe he's like Macaron. He stands on boxes when he takes pictures with people. That clown, hilarious, hilarious. Romantic walks, romantic walks to KFC. How are you doing? I look forward to your stream on Sundays. Do you stream other days uh, on other platforms? Well, we're, uh, I'm just live streaming on Twitch right now. And we do have a stream set up on um, Tuesday. We're going to do another math stream on Tuesday. Most likely continue with trigonometry. But we'll see. All right. Elegot, a true warrior. Actually, I was wat uh, watching Never Back Down to last night. Set Pyrrhic. Thank you very much for the follow. Salute, 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 salute. Uh, Enzo, short uh, men too are angry dudes. My brother is short, pissed off. My best friend, short, pissed off. Yeah, the little man syndrome is uh, the little guys create a lot of chaos. Like if you go to bars, it's the little guy that starts the fights, and the big guy, the friends come in. Uh, yeah, just. Are my experience anyway in the Western world and in in Canada uh, and in the United States as well. Uh, more than half the fights uh, our group would get into was because the smallest guy uh, started started chaos. Like it's weird. It's weird. The sheriff says, I had to taller than 5'9". Uh, been hanging for years and never knew. Da, 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 da. Michael J. White has black belt in like six different fighting styles. You know what? His name's starting to ring a bell. Uh, Enzo, Van Damme was insanely ripped back in the day and flexible. Very flexible. Elgato, 5'5". Five, five. Uh, I'm a monk on, on control. Five five. You're a little guy. <laughs> you create a lot of shit. Oh my god. Do you create chaos? <laughs> Hilarious. Shino Chicho, what are your thoughts on crypto at the moment? Seems like everyone misses the point with it. Uh using centralized tools. Would you invest in crypto right now? Yeah, I agree with you. Most people are missing the point in crypto. They're using it as a trading in instrument not as a currency right not as a and trading instrument can is a currency really but they're just trading it like a stock to make money and whatnot uh because it got hijacked by centralized power uh so it, it's very problematic right uh 
I, I've never been in in trading crypto. I've never, I, I don't buy and sell crypto, right? Uh, if I want to trade something, uh, you can just trade Wall Street stocks if you want, or I buy and sell comic books or whatnot, right? Uh, the whole point of crypto is to be decentralized, to be, to have anonymity, okay? And to have complete control over your own finances. Unfortunately, a lot of people that are going through centralized nodes, they have given up both those features. So once you give up both those features, there is no point to crypto. Uh, the crypto that people have through centralized exchanges and whatnot, right? Um, so problematic. Uh, but NPCs can do whatever the hell they want, uh, right? Uh, as far as would I buy crypto right now? No, no uh it, it maybe uh, let me rephrase maybe uh i said i would buy it around 16 uh 17 bitcoin anyway uh radman thank you very much for the follow and someone on the last stream last week before the bank runs happened this week asked if i would buy a bitcoin right now because it did a run from 16 17 to 24 25 and um, i didn't answer yes or no i said it could go up it could go down uh, it's already done a fair run I don't know, right? Uh, I was not a buyer. Okay. So right now, uh, Bitcoin is sitting around 20,000, 20,500 or something like this. Would I be a buyer right now? Still no. Uh, maybe. If I didn't have any, uh, then maybe I would get a position in just as a hedge, right? Small position. Again, maybe 10% of full position you want to go in. Uh, but I wouldn't bet the, bet the farm on crypto right now not by a long shot um, so it's just a hedge right now and a minor hedge at that okay grow force hope you're doing well um, the Jean-Claude Van Damme commercial with the movie Volvo uh, Semis is epic I don't know which one is that one I don't know which one uh, that one is da, 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 da. Eduardo I am smaller and was very small in fifth grade but I wrestled with the fat guy on uh, on the class. My nickname then was Little Big Guy. Ah, so <laughs> Little Big Guy. I was a little guy too when I was smaller and I got into fights. Uh, I just, you know, um, bullies picked on me. I wouldn't back down. Uh, panic. Have you watched the Chris Rock thing on Netflix where he roasted Will Smith and jada as a response to the slap i th uh did he cover that one is that the one where he he talked about uh kanya as well if it's that if that's the one i i saw it uh, that was like a few months ago like four or five months ago maybe if it's that's the one i i i did see it uh but i can't remember the he might have talked about Will Smith. This news cycle is so heavy. It's hard to remember what's going on. You got to get general feel for it. The micro is difficult. The macro is easy, right? Uh, romantic walks. Agreed. Crypto is for long-term investment. Yeah. Enzo, have an old friend who became extremely wealthy from this crypto thing some years ago. Nuts. Lost touch as money sadly went to his head. Indeed. And that happens to many people. I've seen it happen to people and to a certain degree it happened to me uh, many moons ago many many moons ago uh, I'm a good trader uh, or I can be a good trader when I focus so uh, the initial wealth boost uh, can get to your head you just have to ground uh, you have to spend a little bit of time going through those fluctuations to be able to ground and remember what is important uh, hopefully they come back otherwise they'll go insane and they'll lose everything not only that not monetarily but they'll lose their essence as well right they'll lose their essence sure would you consider investing in a small private company uh, what would be your threshold uh, it would have to be local not dealing international trade uh, that's one thing uh, for a company it would have to have access to the resources to uh, whatever it needed to create the product that it was selling uh, 
locally or make sure it has it has access to it easily so it can't be access to the resource that your the company is using that essential right like for example if you're doing electric cobalt right so if you can't get cobalt nothing else works from what i understand anyway right i'm just using an example so if whatever product they were making was dependent on if there was one cog in the wheel that was a weak link that might not be easily available i wouldn't invest in them they would have to be local if they're pushing the woke agenda i would i wouldn't put two cents in them let alone buy their products um, they would uh, they would have to have uh, not much debt right you would have to consider to make sure that their their business model is not dependent on interest rates right if that's their thing they're screwed right so some people business model is oh they can they have access to cheap money well shit uh, good luck right so they can't have uh, that kind of a business model uh, Cheryl for example a, a small bus developing a wind tech component um, depends Cheryl like wind technology is not really economically viable really in most places and you need certain components to be able to make uh, windmills and wind farms and wind turbines and stuff like this uh, it's hard to say hard to say is it, is it a product that's that they're is it a product that they're going to be selling to uh, people who are camping vans uh, buses uh, to generate energy for them so is it a small product for end-to-end -end users it's small footprint home business scale turbines home business scale turbines yeah yeah yeah. okay okay uh it, it possibly possibly viable i would look into the company called uh grnc let me look it up grnc uh let me let me look this up real quick because i've been following them um they make energy gnrc i believe it's gnrc generic holdings engages in design and manufacture small uh, of power generation equipment yeah yeah uh other power products that yeah, look into these guys I, I think these guys model is viable okay and for the record uh disclaimer family does not have uh does not have interest in this company however family has been considering getting interest in this company uh, but right now the market is no go uh, check into these guys cheryl if you if you know them or don't know them see what they have and i think uh on a on a on providing something for small scale businesses individuals uh it, it is viable it is viable the, the problem again comes into the commodities uh what they need uh like basically the supply chain right so the supply chain can't be too intricate where you have to get this from this 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 and then depend on low interest rates and cheap energy your your if your company is based on that you're screwed you're screwed right or at least for the short term you're going to be in trouble okay Ch -ch -ch. romantic walks you're a true intellectual you have have so many books in your repertoire <laughs> there's there's one interview i saw i forget who it was with they got a huge library of books and stuff like this and interviewer asked them have you read all these books and the person said i've read uh i've read every last page right and then he laughs he goes i opened up the last page of every book and read it right 
So I've read all the graphic novels, almost all the graphic novels, a lot of books that I have up there, stuff like this. This side is my partner's, and she's read a lot of them, nursing, um, that she's sort of prevented from working in British Columbia, Canada, uh, because uh, fascist, <laughs> like crazy, World Economic Forum, pseudo, pseudo intellectuals, pseudo, pseudo fascists, really. Alagachicho, I have just invested in four pubs and now I'm looking at purchasing a 17th century pub in my home hometown which has been closed for six years. Awesome. That I think is a good place to be, Elder God. Because uh, like for example, in times of depression, uh, one of the best businesses was selling alcohol, right? So and community because it builds community makes people forget and have you know provides a place where you can be happy or you can vent you can talk um sort of becomes the town square uh soapbox in a sense so that type of stuff on a local basis definitely especially if it's chal challenging the blockchain stuff uh, not blockchain uh, the multinational corporations and stuff like this because people are going to start gravitating towards local community stuff they'll they'll have to other than the npcs uh the only the only problem might be energy and government trying to shut you down but if you have a strong community you can resist any of the bureaucrats world economic forum bureaucrats that there might be coming after you right Ah, uh, cool. The Kez, how are you doing? Hello, hello, and gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange at Wikileaks playlist on sensor two the last of our pomegranates the last of our pomegranates so sad so sad the last of our pomegranates A little spoon <laughs> but wow Romantic wax pomegranates are extremely healthy, full, full of antioxidants. Yeah, super good, super good. Elder God, I've already looked into sourcing all my products from local suppliers. Fortunately, it's in a farming area. Awesome. Yeah, that needs. That's exactly what needs to happen, because right there, when you source everything from local community, you build a network that is solid. Right, that is solid. So if the government tries to take you down, the local farms, the local breweries that supply you, they're taking bread away. They're taking money away from these guys. So if the government tries to come and beer crash, try to come take you out, these guys will stand by you, right? And six degrees of separation, you got a full-on movement there that... I, I, I would fear being a bureaucrat taking on communities right now. If I was working for the government, I'd be looking for a new job right now, gang. Uh, bit of advice, take it with a grain of salt. Don't take anything seriously that I say. But personally, if I have a, had a government job, which I ne have never had a government job and never will have a government job, right? If I was working for the government, I would be jumping ship as fast as I can right now, as fast as I can. I would try to find something to to do, even if it was a less pay. Okay. Government jobs, in my opinion, from my guess, are going to be getting chop, chop, chop. And personally, if I was an independent company, I would never hire anyone 
sort of a trick there. Uh, not trick but a problem there i would never hire anyone that has worked for government for an extended period of time i would never hire them okay because they don't know what it means to be in a free market society to function that way they have been in general leeching off humanity and i last thing then they're just bureaucrats and the last thing if i was running a company uh last thing i would want in my company is someone that's a bureaucrat and someone that doesn't know what work means okay Eduardo Chicho was addicted to pomegranates <laughs> Psst, it's a secret it's a secret hey hey Lark Bark how are you doing hope you're doing well welcome to another live stream and uh, how's about that uh, uh, the bank run <laughs> you guys looked into this <laughs> exciting stuff no exciting stuff no right svb svb bank runs right so what we're seeing right now is a lot of uh people that were betting on cheap money getting a rude effing awakening right cheryl the silicon valley bank the silicon valley bank the technocratic bank right yeah nagushka will the bank run in america affect banks in canada indeed indeed uh for example td bank has already uh, dropped ten dollars more than ten dollars of its price the odds are it's got a long way to go yet okay um someone mentioned our this on our gilded server i don't i don't watch cable television so i don't know what commercials they're running and i run ad blocks ad blocks plus goes I, I run multiple things on my when i'm online so i don't really see ads online either <laughs> only i only see ads from websites that have okayed ads to be run on that way i'm supporting them right so they make money off those ads and they're not very many right so someone on our gilded server mentioned that canadian government uh, or the banks in collaboration with the banks have been running ads for the last few weeks saying that don't worry canadians uh you know canadian banks are solid because uh canada canadian government has guaranteed 75 percent of all funds in canadian banks and stuff and the person said that as soon as they saw those ads running they knew that something was up right there's going to be bank runs happening so um you know that's secondhand uh the info but uh but canadian banks are going to get hit as well most likely especially especially one of the one of the things with canadian banks that they're extremely extremely vulnerable to is the war on china right so right now western world is gearing up towards a war with china the same way they did towards a war with russia in ukraine right so if china chinese investors decide to pull out of canada you can pretty much kiss most of the canadian economy goodbye right and the canadian dollar plummet right the canadian real estate <laughs> will 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 drop down back down to reality right not to the stratosphere or to the moon right it's already come down a fair bit but it's got so much more to go right just on a uh just on a uh, on the real estate front a couple of days ago i was uh, talking uh, with a friend of ours that they just recently bought a house recently mean last two three years they bought a house right so their house value went up for a short period now it's back down to where it was where they bought it and they're like yeah yeah we won't lose money if we sell it if they can sell it right if, if we sell it you know we're about the same and then uh this friend was started sort of uh i started talking about svb uh, silicon valley bank just mentioned the drop oh there's a bank run in the united states and a couple of banks they, they're not really aware of what's going on but these people these friends of ours and all other people we know they ended up getting their mortgage floating interest rate right because the bank people said oh get it floating we advise people getting floating 
you if you listen to bankers regarding your finances you're pretty much screwed right you got to do your own research because the bankers are trying to make money mint money off your back so the people we know majority of people i think almost everyone we know that's carrying a mortgage they, they all sign up for floating meanwhile i told some of the people don't get floating what are you crazy including these this this friend that i was talking to a couple of days ago i told him when about don't get floating lock the damn thing in but you can only lock it for five years in canada anyway so in five years time they're screwed but these guys floated it right and then she told me two days ago i couldn't believe it i had to go what she goes yeah 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 uh you know we're paying they're they're paying uh fourteen hundred dollars every two weeks so twenty eight hundred dollars a month for a mortgage and she goes yeah 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 and and four dollars off principal i go what oh. i was like what i looked at her i go what are you talking about she goes yeah 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 we'll make payments every two two weeks bi-weekly payments so twenty hundred dollars a total eight dollars i go what are you talking about i go you're only knocking off eight dollars off the principal she goes yeah and if interest rates go up higher we're screwed <laughs> I go, what are you crazy so she and she and she, she turns she turns to me she said yeah we're basically renting from a bank our house from a bank i go if you're lucky because if the house value drops more now they're in the hole for a few hundred thousand dollars right and then they also have to renew and whatever two years three years it, pure insanity pure insanity right that's canada in canada debt rate is through the roof a lot of people have floating mortgages right and interest rates are going to go up canadian dollar has already dropped down to 72 right the odds are it's going to go down it might do a double bottom bounce up a little bit come down again but canadian dollar if this shenanigans with china continues canadian dollars toast right should be should be. it would most likely go down into the mid 60s at best right romantic walks your thoughts on chat gpt isn't it just a glorified ai agent that grabs this info from a huge database what am i missing uh no you're not the only thing you're missing you, you shouldn't call it ai it's not an ai it's a search engine right that has been given certain programs certain certain uh, certain code to put things in a certain way i don't it's, it's machine learning it's not true ai right and yeah it's a glorified wikipedia it's a glorified wikipedia that being said south park did a fantastic episode on it or a good episode the first three quarters was good the end was eh, whatever but the first three quarters was good where they were talking about chat gbt where <laughs> it was hilarious <laughs> where where people were using chat gbt to reply to texts uh so they showed the the boys using or people dating one partner uh, using chat gbt to reply to a text where a partner was texting them a lot so they weren't even reading this crap right maybe on that front is okay to use but it's going to blow up in your face as it did in the south park episode right lark park chicho my my man funny you about run banks because i just got back from a walk run at the park hilarious lark park i mentioned well park walks are way better park runs are way better than bank runs way better cheryl only five years and then it automatically goes to variable no and then they have to renegotiate yeah in canada it like they, they can get a 30-year mortgage or 25-year mortgage whatever it is but they have to the maximum like they do five-year terms so even if you locked it in like people who locked it in let's say three years ago so they locked it in three years ago three years gone and three years ago interest rates were really low their mortgages their renegotiation is coming up right three years ago they could get the mortgage at like i don't know whatever if that good credit two and a half percent three percent max maybe right 
right now when they're going to renegotiate in two years even now you're talking six percent six and a half percent at best right that's double they're done a lot of people were already f maxed out right so it's it's a serious problem this is a domino effect we'll see where it goes cheryl the mortgage advice i uh, advice i appreciate most was to make bi weekly payments rather than monthly it adds so much more to the principal every year yeah hopefully platonic players how are you doing with these friends that we have they're only taking down eight dollars per month off the principal <laughs> eight effing dollars per month off the principal right now eight dollars from a twenty eight hundred dollar payment and then they also have taxes they also have repairs they also have all the stuff expenses that comes with a house and they bought if house prices drop like i asked i asked i asked this friend i said listen so uh are you underwater on the house right now she goes no 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 she says we're the same if we sell right now we don't lose anything right it, again if they can sell and i said well what if it keeps on going and she goes oh, i don't know i go well you could just walk away because during the 2008 financial scam one thing that happened was for example people had bought homes let's say for a million dollars right back then the average was lower right but let's make it a million make it even right so they had bought homes for a million dollars let's say they could put they had to put 10 percent down a lot of people didn't let's say some people barely even put five percent down right but let's say a good person making a good investment decision has saved up some money put 10 percent down right so a million dollar house they bought they put a hundred thousand dollar down right so they got a they got they got a loan mortgage for nine hundred thousand dollars right price of the house is a million if a price of the house goes up to 1.5 a 1.1 million then hey great they made a hundred thousand less all the fees blah, 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 so they break even still right if you buy a home for a million sell it for a million you're losing money by the way right because there's transaction fees and stuff like this right so house they bought a house for a million put hundred thousand dollars down they got nine hundred thousand dollar mortgage houses plummeted some places by more than 50 percent so now the house that they bought is worth five hundred thousand dollars that means that means they lost half a million dollars right they still have a hundred thousand dollars equity in the house but dropped five hundred thousand dollars in value so what happened in 2008 after 2008 smart people didn't pay mortgage for a while right they banked the money didn't put it in the bank where they owed the mortgage right they took the money and put it somewhere safe right so they didn't pay for a while right and banks were like it takes a while to evict people right so they built up a nice little nest egg and then they got evicted right so they had to leave the house so there you go here's a paper for the house piss off banks right the house is now worth half a million dollars and then the bank has to get rid of this house they, have, they can't the banks can't hold on to all this property that is worth so much because it takes maintenance it takes this it takes this it, it's it, it, it's not really an asset if the value if you're not selling it and if the value keeps on going on and it's a more of a liability like a car is not an asset according to banks it's a liability because it has payments you have to make expenses gas maintenance and all this shit right so the banks are looking to sell this property so all these people that walked away from the house right they had nest egg on the side under a different name family name and stuff they come back and buy the house for half a million dollars so they they had nine hundred thousand dollars mortgage on a house they walked away from the house is now worth half a million dollars so they rebuy the same house or something equivalent to it so they just saved themselves half a million dollars or four hundred thousand dollars right i expect that to happen however one thing that occurred since that time they made it harder for people to first of all walk away from property sometimes that that goes with you like in spain you buy a house you get into mortgage that that care goes with you forever a lot of people in spain after 2008 scam they 
kill themselves because they were carrying debt forever now. They're screwed, right? So I think they've changed the laws in Canada and the United States where you can, it's not as easy to walk away from property, okay? Uh, but we'll see how that plays out. This is, this is all just a scam anyway, so we'll see how far they take the scam, right? Nagushka, greetings, my... Larkbar Chicho, what are your thoughts on inflation and the hike up of the gas prices? Do you think it's uh, it'll ever go away? It goes away when we get rid of these World Economic Forum puppets that are ruling over the Western world, and they need to be dealt with, right? So, for example, in Canada, gas prices are going to go up 14 cents per liter. It's starting April 1st, I believe, and tax on alcohol is going to go up six six and a half percent starting april that includes small breweries so small breweries in canada and there's a lot of them right and distilleries in canada they're going to get screwed because government want, wants more money these be fucking bureaucrats want more money right people need to understand these large governments these large governments and these bureaucrats these government employees these leeches on humanity they are completely annihilating our economies why they're annihilating our economies because they want more people dependent on the government to live right they want more people dependent on the government to live why because that gives them more power right it's a fucking cycle we need to break that cycle two ways of breaking that cycle right one way is function outside of their control systems many people are right for example in greece they say unemployment is you know unemployment is 50 percent. yeah right be honest fool thank you very much for the follow so in greece they say unemployment is 50 percent. you can check the numbers i don't know back in 2008 or 2010 i looked at it this is what it was going sometimes i'm going with really old data right but take your favorite country and say unemployment is 50 percent oh we need to make more taxes because a lot of people aren't working stuff like this no unemployment is not 50 percent employment on the books is 50 percent and there's a huge on the ground economy right which is why which is why which is why they want to bring in central backed digital currencies because they don't want that underground economy from functioning right they want to take everything they want their cut they want their fucking cut right who does that that's mafia that's mafia right and what do you think is going to happen what do you think is going to happen as soon as they introduce central back digital currencies the economy is going to come to a grinding halt right and alternate currencies are going to pop up local currencies are going to pop up okay not only that they're going to siphon off so much money from the real economy to put into their coffers. Meanwhile, while in Canada, taxes going up, uh, gas prices are going up 14 cents per liter, right? In uh, there's how many liters in a gallon? I forget. It's like four liters in a gallon, 3.75 liters in a gallon. Uh, check on it. But there's three, four liters per gallon. So for those in the United States, multiply 14, let's say 15 by four right that's 60 cents more four liters per gallon thank you very much so 60 cents more per gallon going up in canada because government says so they need more money co2 greta is uh appalled how dare we how dare we drive to feed our families right so they're kicking up that much they're raising taxes on alcohol meanwhile the liberal government is giving themselves bonuses right the mps right trudeau's salary is going up like 10 grand right fucking unbelievable unbelievable right unbelievable crazy shit right that's what happens when you live in their dictatorship totalitarian bureaucratic fascists right controllers and it's been hilarious watching ai accounts uh causing havoc and discord servers the accounts keep insisting they aren't AI. hilarious hilarious and some of them will will uh add anybody uh with a new post every time oh my god nastiness 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 i'm scrolling down gang da, 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 da. 
Alagon. My taxes are currently paying for hotels for visiting strangers in my country. Seems like a bad investment. Very bad investment. Very bad investment. Uh, you could save a lot of money on taxes by downsizing government by 95%. Like literally downsize the damn thing. Right? An Albertan gallon has five liters. Ha <laughs> ha. Plutonic pluris. Hilarious. And uh, in Canada, elections are coming up in Alberta. They have an NDP clown running against uh, who's in power right now. Albertans, if you're listening, I sure as hell hope you're not going to be, you're going to be doing everything you can to prevent the NDP from getting control on Alberta because you're going to be fucked just as much as BC. Okay? Because BC is in deep shit. BC is in deep shit. We've got world economic forum bureaucratic puppets here controlling shit ton right they've they're annihilating annihilating the economy and they're annihilating mental health of our society right you should check it out it's crazy it's crazy right narc park greece's actual previous uh frequency 88 77 monthly according to tr uh, trading economics so is that the uh, unemployment no it can't be unemployment that high right nagushka albertan is the final remnant of a sanctuary in canada uh China. <laughs> yeah yeah nagushka i i seriously hope albertans are able to hold on all they need to do is hold on this election and the veil has been lifted these world economic forum puppets are going to be running for the hills and i sure hope a lot of them are arrested and put on trial for crimes against humanity and for uh being traitors to our nations right no matter where you are in the western world by the way but then again bank runs right war uh, world war they're pushing no that's greece's employment oh greece's employment right now is 88 percent so um what do you call it 12 percent unemployment i doubt it that can't be it cars are how are you doing back uh, like 10 years ago in 2000 and where was it 2008 2009 after the financial scam unemployment was crazy i think it was like 50 percent unemployment it was insane yeah that's what it is i think that's crazy i i, I can't see it being uh uh, unemployment is only 12 percent. that's pretty high by the way western world but unemployment was a lot higher where are you from omi cars are i'm in western canada brother where are you from <laughs> are you, you're not from silicon valley are you did you get your money out did you get your money out or are you in line online waiting until monday 10 set up I have your vr glasses on <laughs> oh, for russia salutations russia hope you're doing well hope you're doing well people talk for us one bear uh beer barrel has uh 117.3475 liters in online calculators <laughs> oh, <that hurts. laughs> gallons gallons and liters why not why not and by the way, the this whole SVB thing, Silicon Valley Bank, uh, if it goes without uh, bail outs or bail ins, bail ins meaning that the bank sees a certain amount of uh, people's funds to bail itself out, right? So basically, not not only is taxpayer or taxpayers going to be bailing out the bank, the bank is stealing funds of depositors <laughs> like it, it, you you're getting double like it's nasty right it's nasty okay so if they're not if they don't bail them out or bail them in right the bank doesn't bail in which they don't they already got seized right to a certain degree uh there should be contagion there, 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 there should be a domino effect kicking in we'll see but i think there's going to be a lot of uh, 
it's going to be amazing period next few months by the way do you know any words in russian um borsh uh pirashki <laughs> my grandfather was from russia i have ancestry from russia they they left when uh, communism rolled in and they took took over their farm and said you can't grow what you want to grow or what you know how to grow and we're partition partitioning your land into little pieces little pieces and these people know and you get this and you got to share the house they put everything in carts and they you know they used to tell stories to my parents and stuff like this to the elders where they said oh yeah they used to take wheelbarrows of money and just burn it like it was useless but basically they threw everything in wheelbarrow not wheelbarrows and carts and stuff back then with the horses and went to uh, iran they migrated right normally normal. Uh, very nice uh, what else do i know in russian I, I, I do know some words but we mix it in with armenian and farsi so i don't know which one's russian which one's uh, not uh, what else do i know in russian I do know some other words in Russian. Uh, they come up, uh, but I can't recall right now. Gaming Goods, the CEO of SVB, withdrew his assets before the crash, goes to show how much uh, he knew and maybe others uh, most likely. Yeah, indeed, like a few hours before. And by the way, they had in their in top management, they had someone that was involved with Enron. They had someone that was involved with Lehman Brothers. That was on his effing uh, resume, right? The guy, the guy worked at Enron, one of the biggest scams in U.S. history. Worked in Lehman Brothers, one of the biggest scams in U.S. history, and saw SVB down the toilet, one of the biggest banks in U.S. history, having a run on, right? This is the why we have to hold people accountable for. They're crimes, really. Because you don't, they come back like bed bugs, and fuck you up. Right? Like, seriously, what's wrong with us? Turn the other cheek has gotten ridiculous. Right? Lark Park, it's just a matter of time till the domino effect kicks in, which is around the corner. Yeah. Which, which we might be in right now. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Should be an exciting ride. I'll be up and early could go up yes we're printing a couple of trillion dollars to bail out the technocrats that have been uh sharing your data collecting your dna and uh, acting as sensors of centralized power yes we have to bail them out All right controller zen to karzar you're looking at the great grandson of stanley here my friend she shows your leader my blood right hilarious what's up chicho war zone brooks how are you doing hope you're doing well we talked about chicho that's how you became a persian armenian interesting interesting well one one part of it i had another part that escaped world war one in ottoman uh ottoman turkey and they w went on the death marches right my great grandfather perished on the death marches and her um my great grandmother raised uh, six children by herself, right? So genocide, so survivors of genocide, right? So during turmoil, during those periods, there was mass migration everywhere, just the same way it is right now, right? Uh, romantic walks. Are you more fluent in Armenian or Farsi? Armenian, Armenian, Armenian. I had to relearn Farsi. I forced myself to relearn Farsi. Da, 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 da. maybe chicho has also ties to the czar dynasty the czars asset deflation asset deflation bingo bingo plutonic pluris major asset deflation coming up in certain parts certain parts asset inflation right and it really depends on uh if they're going to be bailing them out if they're going to be printing a shit ton of money uh, because if they do that then we're going to see asset inflation but i don't think we're going to go high they, they're going to do that um, they need to keep tabs on uh inflation i mean they, they put themselves in a hole 
right, in a bind. Because Western world is collective at war with Russia and China, soon to be. And it's, it's sort of a, not on the forefront, but war drums not only pounding, they're making moves, right? The, the war has already begun with China. So any nation that wants to wage war, they have to have a solid currency. They can't have hyperinflation at the same time that they're waging war, right? And they have no room to maneuver right now. They can't lower interest rates because inflation, inflation is pretty high, right? And if they kill the supply chain coming out of China, the way they killed resources coming out of Russia, you're going to see inflation go through the effing roof for certain products, right? Really. Like, just imagine what a price of a laptop is going to be if all of a sudden China's sanctioned. Just, just imagine. Or price of tubes for a tire. Because last I looked at this, I looked at this again. This is something that, I don't know if you want to say preppers, but people who, who realized what was coming were looking into. Uh, that's why cryptos came to be, right? But I looked into a lot of the stuff, what was coming out of China, what was the main products being that China basically had control of. From what I understand, almost 100% of tubes for tires comes from China. So if all of a sudden we've got sanctions going on China, all these people riding bikes, trying to reduce their carbon footprint, they're screwed, right? They blow a tire, they're done, right? And plastic has a certain shelf life, right? So if you need to get backups for your bikes, go get your tires right now extra and if sanctions don't go up within five years whatever it is the plastic six years wears off and it's not it doesn't have its integrity anymore right but it's it's a fail safe it's a it's a it's sort of a safety net right and there's a lot of things that just come out of china right medicine uh start stocking up your on your medicines gang right get your vitamin c's vitamin d's get your zincs your uh get stuff that do some research and find out and we can do it in our gilded by the way maybe we should have a separate folder uh supplies survival something like this to try to figure out what's made almost 100 percent in china right and what people need to stock up on uh, to protect ourselves from what's coming, what these technocratic world economic forum puppets want to do, which is basically uh, wage war, war three, because their whole economic model has collapsed and they want to introduce centrally backed digital currencies so they can control everything, i.e. make you a slave, right? Hold on to your gold and silver coins. Yeah, if you have them, yeah, good idea. Yeah, Lark Bark, I have a great deal of respect for Russian athletes, especially uh, the ones that have competed in combat sports. Yeah, Russians are tough, tough, right? Fed, Fednor, Fednor, what a fighter. Fednor, Fed, Fednor, oh my God, I haven't seen him for a while, so... At less than at least controllers and likeness with Lenin, Stalin, or the Ramanovs. Oh my God! Like the Ministry of Truth said about China, "quote We want competition, not conflict." Indeed, uh, the West can't compete with China. Uh, the, these puppets that have been spoon-fed uh, with a silver silver spoon or golden spoon spoon, some of them, they they don't they want control. They have no idea what economy means or anything. The only thing they know is fascism, totalitarianism, their depravity, their their disgusting uh, perspective on humanity and life and all that jazz. They're some of the most vomit-inducing creatures of in history of humanity. See where she showed. What's up, Chicho? How are you doing? Doing good, Sleepy Waves. Been so long since I was able to catch a live stream. I'm currently in uh, Colombia for two months. Woohoo! Awesome. Salutations. How's it there, by the way? How's Colombia going? Plutonic Plurus. We could put 
uh, make a quote put together your survival collection stream oh we could yeah that'd be a good idea actually plutonic pluralist that'd be a good idea right see what you show if you're saying that they can't wage war because the economy in the west western world is in hyperinflation then what's going to happen when they do because they definitely are going to take us to war with china uh, yeah that's the thing i don't think they're they're going to allow the economies to go into hyperinflation i think they're going to continue to kick up the interest rates right because one of the things the united states it has done is use the u.s dollar as a weapon right so there's a lot of countries that have dead in u.s dollars they're screwed because they gave away their sovereignty to the united states of america to the fed right so what they can do united states while it's waging war on russia and china because a lot of the customers because they're trying to do the whole domino thing right so there's a lot of customers that are third world countries of russian resources russian food uh chinese resources chinese products right not part of the whole the belt and road initiative right a lot of those countries uh from the global south have debt in u.s dollars so as u.s dollar interest rates go up the u.s dollar gets stronger right because it's paying back more interest so you can just park your money there collect interest right so if that continues then all those countries that have that in u.s dollars they're screwed because they have to pay back in u.s dollars but their economies do not support that right because if they're producing something if if the whole economy is slowing down and their payments are going up because they have to pay more interest on the u.s dollar debt that they have they're going to come their economy is going to come grinding to a halt so in that sense they probably won't buy as much stuff from russia uh and energy from russia as they ha do right now and the deals they have with china are not as viable uh through the belt and road initiative so i'm expecting rates to continue to go up in the united states and canada and the western world i'm not sure what's going to happen in europe europe is a shit show europe is done it's a full war war mode right collectively europe has gotten together and said yeah they're going to do collective purchases of weapons to send to ukraine to wage war against russia with the united states canada and stuff like people say oh the you know united states canada western europe they're not a war with russia i, I don't know what it takes to be at war with another nation but to me that is war they're they're now in full-blown war with russia it's nato versus russia right so they need to have a stable currency to be able to do that so i don't think they're going to allow their currencies to go into hyperinflation because if the currency is going to hyperinflation then they won't be able to buy the resources the commodities the the metals the oil the energy the cobalt the whatever it is the food that they need to be able to maintain their economies in a war posture right so russia has already gone into war-based economy the west is about to go into a war-based economy that means a lot of energy a lot of resources are going to go towards not making things that you and me need but making things that the military industrial complex need and the world economic form powers need to maintain power within their countries and to continue waging war on russia and kick off a kick start a war with china i.e world war three right how is this going to play out is the west going to win i i would not bet on it the west is in deep shit, and when it's all said and done i've said it before i'll say it again we might be going behind another iron curtain and we're on the wrong side okay we're on the wrong side before all this stuff gets out of hand we have to remove these world economic forum puppets from power okay so any politician any politician that is taking away free speech in the western world that is limiting your ability to do business to make money okay that wants to introduce centrally backed digital currencies okay take away eliminate cash and wants to monitor all your data if they need a digital id they are your enemy okay 
because the only reason they want to do that is a fail safe mechanism so they don't want to lose control because if their plans don't play out and they won't they're gonna they've lost ukraine they're gonna lose against china they're done the western world is done as a global hegemonic power it's done right then what they're going to do they're going to create new gulags for me and you that live in the western world the concentration camps are already built okay they, they're already built keep that in mind gang it's it's a it's it's a dangerous period no doubt no doubt it's a dangerous period no doubt no doubt right Ch -ch -ch. crazy times crazy times we'll see how, what happens on monday Mon tomorrow should be very interesting ARMs. Gang, do not forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or a Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. And by the way, we're going to start getting into the patio soon uh just needed to warm up a little bit uh so before i get in there start doing the kicking in the gardening season uh, might as well do a couple of streams before uh, i go in there so we see both angles of what the patio looks like before we kick it into full bloom mode right sleep away is chicho damn poor son just still locked up I would have not lasted that long, I swear. Yeah, I wouldn't have lasted that long either. He's a true warrior, man. He's li like literally true warrior. Like, I wouldn't have done what he did. I wish I could. I'd like to think I would, but I know I wouldn't. Sacrifice everything to try to convince the NPCs to make sure we have transparency in our societies. He had hope in humanity. I, I do as well to a certain degree. But I, I lost the game. I took... Um, I make the mistake every now and then to put my faith in the masses. But I lost my faith in the masses after 9-11. After they all drank the Kool-Aid. Look, Lion and Sinker, they're, they're all in. They all supported invasion of Afghanistan. They all support invasion of majority support invasion of Iraq, destruction of Libya, waging war in Syria. They all supported this shit, right? Turn a blind eye to crimes against humanity, torture. I lost my faith in the masses a long time ago. Assange had faith in the masses that collectively would do the right thing. Uh, collectively, there's a lot of NPCs out there and a lot of very low IQ people, very low IQ people, and their mental health is being shattered right now. Rightfully so. They need their mental health to be shattered, right? They need to, they need to be, they need to hit the ground hard, right? And build themselves back up again uh, without government help, without bureaucratic help, because the government and the bureaucrats are the ones that are abusing them. Okay. So in my opinion, uh, we need to go through some seriously hard times. And hopefully some of these very low IQ people will open their eyes. Right. Sleep ways. Can you briefly explain how the Fed's raising the interest rates work? I know you went over it before, but I need a reminder because I'm not sure I am entirely following. So, for example, take a look at this uh, sleepy waves. Silicon Valley Bank, S SVB, the bank in the in California that just went belly up in a matter of two days, three days. Their stock, their stock at peak was eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and a month ago it was three hundred dollars. On Thursday, it dropped sixty percent, right? And pre market on Friday. 
it was down another 50 percent so it went from three hundred dollars it was already stressed out like three hundred fifty dollars to fifty dollars and it didn't even open on friday halt trading halted right why did this bank go bankrupt okay for there's multiple reasons but here's one of the reasons one of the reasons was because they were woke ass low iq management right they cared about the color they're racist basically and uh low iq right they cared about the color of your skin your sexual identity your your the the, the most ridiculous things right the most who, who you who you slept with uh what you wore the, what your hair type was that's what they cared about instead of hey we're running a financial institution we need to have people that know mathematics no modeling no all this stuff right aside from the bad wokeness agenda that they had the people that they 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 had running this bank right so people put their money into the bank right and the bank you know makes has this money right they make money by lending money so they get interest from that they also have a sh shit ton of money sitting there so instead of just sitting there what they did some of these idiots right the people managing these this, the funds in the bank they bought 10-year bonds u.s bonds betting that interest rates weren't going, weren't going to go up now sleepy waves you've been here a while right i've been doing live streams on twitch i guess four years now right i've been making videos for a long time when, when we started looking at the stuff printing money and stuff we knew that interest rates are going to go through the roof inflation is coming and they're going to be right raising interest rates no ifs or buts about it we were 99 percent. i was anyway i was talking about 99 percent that they're going to be raising interest rates right the people and by the way svb silicon valley bank was on forbes top five most stable banks in the united states for like five years running right top best place you could park your money right it's like those triple a graded loans uh subprime loans that they were selling in the 2000 2005 2006 in the build up to 2000 triple a this is a solid investment get your money in there right so the people managing these billions of dollars for this bank they bought 10-year bonds betting that interest rates weren't going to go up and their bonds were paying like one and a half percent right billions of dollars right well what happened interest rates go up so the value of those bonds goes down because why would you buy like for example let's say it's a it's a million dollar bond they bought billions of dollars of this shit, right let's say you buy a million dollar bond that's going to be paying 1.25 percent 1.5 percent for 10 years right annual all right a year later interest rates go through the roof now you can buy 10-year bonds that are paying three and a half percent right way better yield way better yield. more than double the yield of what these guys bought like a year ago right well what's going to happen to the value of this thing well, the value of this thing is going to go down. Why would you buy a bond that has a nine-year term left in it that's paying 1.5% when you can buy a 10-year bond that's paying 3.5%, right? You could park your money there. So the value of these bonds dropped like 20%, 25% or something like this, right? Oh, crap. They just lost a few billion dollars, right? Not only that these 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 people uh, a lot of their money that they had lent out was lent out to startups tech startups tech startups well tech startups interest rates are going up right and technology is pretty gambling sort of thing right interest rates going up tech startup their costs of doing business means it's going up because they're not a lot of them aren't making money 
right? They're borrowed money, right? They're doing selling shares and shit. So their share price is coming down. They're able to raise less and less money, right? By selling shares, right? So all of a sudden, these tech companies that they've lent money to, well, the business model is not really working out too well. So this is sort of a, a tech bubble crash of 2000. So we're seeing sort of a combination of the dot-com crash and the 2008 scam together with interest rates going up, right? Economy collapsing, sanctions on Russia, war against China, hegemony of the Western world done, multipolar world, commodities going through the roof, right? Cost of them, energy through the roof, labor shortage, in, uh, what do you call it? For the stems anyway, right? A lot of overpaid, woke ass, useless people working for these companies. That's why there have been major layoffs, major layoffs, thousands of layoffs in Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, uh, Tesla, Netflix, just laying these useless people, use, the, these woke ass people, right? Because they, they cared about virtue signaling. They didn't care about productivity. They didn't, not all of them. There are some that are good. But majority of it, the censors, look at Twitter, look at the people that were working for Twitter. Would you hire those people? Damn. That, did you see some of the testimony they had? Damn. So there's a lot of baggage that these tech companies had. So they're, they've been valued as this much, but their value is way down here. So on the books, paper, SVB looked great. Forbes, one of the best banks you could put your money in, right? Guess what? It wasn't. Why? Because all that, all that accounting hocus pocus magic on paper was really that. It was just hocus pocus, smoke and mirrors. Real value was way, way, way down, right? And their management was making shitty bets, gambling with billions of dollars. Like, what kind of a low iq individual gets hires another low iq individual puts them in a position to manage billions of dollars and these low iq individuals through the chain of command they all okay them buying 10-year bonds and betting that interest rates are not gonna go up like a year ago two years ago we we did a math video where we looked at the money supply and just going through the roof. These are the people that are managing, managing retirement plans for people. These are the people that are managing uh, Social Security to a certain degree. Not really. Because, well, to a certain degree, I don't know what they're doing with Social Security. To tell you the truth, right? It's garbage. It's insane. Interest rates being at negative. Right. So Social Security is done like the Social Security, I think, needed needs six percent or eight percent annual to be viable. It hasn't been that for 12 years, 10 years. Europe has been negative. So that's done. Like what? Right. They're managing people's retirement plans, their bank accounts, their RSPs, their funds. These are the people in charge of people's money in the markets. That's not going to work out too well. It really isn't. So interest rates is basically, see what ways you want to think about it, is the cost of money, cost of doing business, right? That's the best way to think about what interest rate is, right? So if the cost of doing business is going up, then the economy is going to go down. Entrepreneurship is going to go down, right? Especially when it's coming from a place where there was cheap money, it didn't cost you anything to get money if you knew the right people, right? Because they were handing out money like it was candy at a fucking playground on Epstein Island. Hey, kitties, here's a lot of candy. Don't worry, no price to pay for this. Damn, right? Damn. So they were handing out money like it was going out of business, right? 
And people are expecting that there's no, no repercussions to this. All of a sudden, cost of doing business goes through the roof. So all those companies, all those companies that didn't have a viable business plan, their only business plan was cheap money. We can get our hands on cheap money. We have, look at all the all the woke ass people we hire. Look at this army of woke ass people. They 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 understand words. Words hurt people, so they censor society. Look at all these people we got, right? Cost of doing business just went up, went through the roof relative to where it was, and it's not about to slow down anytime soon. I might be wrong. They might freeze interest rates not kick it up but i'm guessing interest rates are going to continue to go up cost of doing business is going to continue to go up okay oh my god a great day just check takings for today five thousand seven hundred ninety ninety pounds oh, nice eduardo little do we know assange is lifting heavy weights on prison with a cool scar in his face i hope so i hope so i hope he's healthy i hope he's healthy the scar part well, maybe comes out a lot meaner if he comes out i'm scrolling down gang sounds like woke culture da, 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 da. it's about real info bra, ba, 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 ba. oh it's about real info just a concern of power. See what you should. Do you think that the U U.S. Feds are going to continue to raise interest rates? Yes. Uh, sleepy ways. Yes. Oh, I thought it was Charles Brown. Da, da, da. Nice conversations <laughs> going about fighting in prisons and stuff. Controllers, I know what you're doing. Sounds like the Fed and Treasury are meeting right now uh, for emergency uh, lending. Yeah, yeah. Initially, they came out. They said we're not going to bail out. Now they're saying we're going to bail out, and they might bail in. That means seize assets see certain percentage of deposits right we'll see right in lebanon they were burning banks same with uh, nigeria i believe scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down romantic walks sorry for the off topic ever notice how these people destroy the healthiest food for us example did you know 80 percent of the oil olive oil in supermarkets are fake or diluted oh really google olive oil mafia the same way raw honey and pasteurized honey heat destroys the beneficial enzymes i could go on yeah indeed if you're going to buy honey don't buy past don't buy pasteurized honey you want unpasteurized honey as far for the olive oil i gotta look into it i think our supply is good we'll have to look into it Emiliano, hello, hello, first time chat. I don't understand this because I'm not a business major, but I like your voice. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Plutonic Pullers. I like the Tom Hardy movie about moonshiners and the uh, shortened series Taboo. Yeah, Taboo was really good. I'm pretty sure I've seen Taboo. I'm pretty sure I've seen Taboo. Yonk, first time child, you're looking like a wise man. Well, it's the goatee. Don't let it fool you. But I'm not an NPC. Okay, Lark Park, the cult of the woke church has destroyed the outcome of other people's lives and businesses. Indeed, 100%. Those are the same people that agreed with, uh, would walk around and say, we want bodily autonomy, but not for this. Right? those people are enemy to humanity right to talk about us some say qe is no longer possible others say the money printing uh game can go on much longer or forever i think what we might see possibly is interest rates going up and qe kicking in right then they're playing with hyperinflation stagflation they, who knows what they're gonna do we'll see all we know all's not well and what's that saying all's not well and where chicho is the mr miyagi of armenian prep streamer <laughs> hilarious yoke 
Thanks for info. My pleasure. Dun, 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 dun. Ten minute warning. We're ten minutes in. Well, ten minutes in. Steve with Chicho. Thanks, Elder God. By the way, I appreciate it. I lose track of time. How's the stock market doing? I have logged in a minute. Uh, where do you think it's heading? Especially with a uh, World War III, and uh, it, it 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 can do serious jumps up and down sleep waves. Right now, I told people uh, a few months ago. I said if I was in the market, I'd be 100% sh puts short. Right? There's a couple of stocks you might go long on, but I, I mentioned that I, I would, if I was playing it, I would be 100% sh puts basically, or 80% puts, uh, keeping some cash. Right? But I I wasn't into trading. I'm not I'm not into trading right now, so I'm not doing anything. However, I would not be long this market. I would not be long this market. Young, ah, you got my vision. NPC comment was nice. Haha. <laughs> da, 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 da. First time touch chat. The dungeoners. Ho there, wanderer. Stay sh stay shy, of course, a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh onto a tendency since I've seen a soul walking this road and have been without decent conversation since traveling nowadays appears to be the dominion of either the desperate thank you very much for the following <laughs> young desperate or the deranged if you wouldn't pardon my intrusion may I inquire which pertains to the um, I'm not sure which part it pertains but uh uh, traveling this world seems uh, like a brilliant ride, as Bill Hicks would say. So maybe that answers your question. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure what your question is. <laughs> Look, right, we found rainy in Canada. Awesome. <laughs> Hilarious. Terrence and Filipina. <laughs> South Park, South Park. See what? Wait, the stream is ending in 10 minutes? Yeah, Steve Waves. Now it's probably like five minutes. Or nine minutes. Romantic walks. In the UK, due to the shortage of doctors, they're seriously considering replacing GPs, general practitioners, with chat GPT. It was on the biggest newspaper. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Yeah, these bureaucrats want to replace humanity, right? They think, these technocrats, that's why I don't have too much sympathy for SVB and Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is enemy of humanity. End of story right because they not only they went woke they went centralized power and censored free speech any any place any that censors free speech they can go fuck themselves right but uh basically these technocrats and centralized power think they can dispose of humanity now because they've reached a technological level where they can do everything through AI and machine learning and there's a lot of automation going on so they can have a society functioning and all their needs taken care of with artificial intelligence and automation they're in for a rude awakening right they're in for a rude awakening North Park. Oh no, I want more time with the stream. This is fun. This is super fun. So it's, fuck, I got there. Was a time change. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, I had to do do the time thing, right? Uh what do you call it? Uh, you forgot. Yeah, yeah. Uh Elder God reminded me reminded us uh, last night on uh, on our gilded server. Uh so it sucks. I hate this time change thing. It, uh, seriously. One of the places where centralized power came along and said, ah, fuck humanity. We're going to mess them up. We're going to get them to change their clocks just because we say so. Our scientists. Because the cows need to be milked. What? No, man. Anybody that's running a business that needs to milk cows, they just milk the cows. Why are you changing all of society? Because you guys think it's okay to do so. What about the repercussions to everybody else? Right? Baldur's Gate, Elder God. Uh, uh, just stay a little longer on. We'll stay. Uh, it, it, this is the kicker. It, it just takes uh, uh, it takes a little bit of extra. Not a little bit of extra. It becomes sometimes problematic when I'm doing longer streams. Mello, I started as a, uh, as a thing. So railroad workers didn't wake up before sunrise. Yeah, it's just, it's just the, the bureaucrats sit there and decide hey this is going to be really good for these people so we're going to make everybody do it what the fuck 
But did it start because of, as you said, it started as a thing. So railroad workers didn't wake up before sunrise. Or was it because of farmers? Right? Cheryl, don't blame the scientists for daylight savings. <laughs> a bureaucrat and bureaucratic scientists, right? Which aren't really scientists. They're basically people who have a, who've been given a certificate who are being used by bureaucrats, centralized power to push their agenda. There, we got a lot of them around right romantic wax chicho you look like my chess teacher with a phenomenal skincare routine <laughs> well that's what i heard you can't confirm yeah maybe it could be but i heard it was because of farming or something now they're attacking farming oliga chicho thanks cheryl for clock change warnings last night i just posted it forward okay okay cheryl thank you very much for the reminder uh Otherwise, well, I would have looked at my computer clock. I would have gone, what's going on here? But uh, I might have not started on time. Chicho, my last question for you. What industries do you think will make more work workers in the future? Local community, local industry. Look into your local communities, gang. Really. Build up a network. Uh, don't try to get into with large multinational corporations because they're ruthless they don't care about their workers when the time comes they will cut the cord and fuck everybody over right my recommendation to people if you really want to be stable and make sure you're protecting yourself and your family look into local community and see what's available there the other thing you need to do is look into what industries are collapsing and see where there's a void that you can fill that you can provide a service or a product to fill that void right it, things are changing and make sure you're not dependent on cheap money to be able to live to be able to function right uh, it's just the way it is and by the way i don't think uh technology uh, trying to get into these big tech companies is going to be a good place a lot of those tech like i wouldn't hire anyone anyone that has been working for i mentioned this before twitter apple microsoft like if i had a company i would not hire anyone that has been working for twitter apple microsoft amazon for a long time i would not hire them okay they come with a lot of baggage a lot of privilege right they might have a serious woke agenda that they want to indoctrinate everyone with not only that they expect a certain pay that that only comes about because they had stock options or some shit like this they didn't live in the real economy okay they they were a cog in a wheel and that machine has broken okay forget about trying to take cogs from machines that are broken and fit into your business model it's not going to work okay night will change again in north america and the nagushka eventually they're going to use daylight savings time as an excuse to get everyone on the digital currency and possibly nagushka <laughs> i will try to get a part-time job as a chatbot haha <laughs> yeah like like for example uh this chat gbt stuff a lot of forums are being taken over by chat so a lot of forums are gonna people are going to be interested so what's going to take off online is live streaming like this you know you're talking to a real human being i'm not a bot i'm not representing any corporate interests right i'm speaking as factually as i can right so all those people that were dependent on uh gimmicky crap they're done they're done right oh my god we still have two weeks to wait for clock change you guys change in two weeks that's weird. I thought I won't change the weird. It's just weird. Gang, let's call it a stream. Thank you for being here. Sleep away. Sorry, we're going to call it. Uh, but we're going to be doing a stream two days from now, Tuesday, same time, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific West Coast, Canada. And we're doing mathematics and open discussion. We can talk about whatever you guys want. Okay. Yes, Ed, lots of love to you as well. Lots of love to you as well. Oh, God. Woke liberals speak like computers in human form. They use unnecessary large words to appear more intelligent than their basic component. And not, not bold. 
hilarious. <laughs> Lurk mode, thank you, sure. Uh, uh, you guys as well. You guys as well, gang. Uh, gang, if you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. We do have a uh, Substack page and a Subscribe Star page. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, on Substack, on Twitch, and the handful of you that are supporting this work on SensorTube, gang, thank you very much for the support, as well as the support we're getting through other means. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. And I thank you very much. We do have a Gilded server. You're definitely welcome to join us there to share information, talk about whatever you want to talk about, and continue our conversations from these live streams. Uh, you're definitely welcome to join us there. All the links will be in the description of this video when it's been loaded on Bitchu Rumble Odyssey and Sensor 2. <laughs> And uh, we do announce these live streams, 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gabs. Thank you, Elder God, by the way. Appreciate it. Twitter, Gab. You know, we're going to scroll down. Let's see. Twitter, uh, Getter, Parlor, VK, Gab, and Minds. Okay. So you can follow the work there as well. Uh, I was sharing, a f retweeting some stuff from Twitter, adding my comments. Lots of clown talk. Lots of clown talk. Uh, and we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to SensorTube as a podcast, and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including your favorite podcasting platform. Gang, thanks again for being here. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday if you can make it. Bye, everyone.